The Albanese government has been accused of failing to deliver on an election promise to provide additional domestic violence workers. Live to Kayser Shields in Brisbane. Kayser, how many workers had been promised to Queensland? Pete, 111 domestic violence workers had been promised to Queensland, but after about two years, none of them have been appointed. It was part of a $169 million commitment from the government to roll out 500 workers across the country, but only two of those positions have been filled, one in the Northern Territory and one in South Australia, and that's drawn criticism from the opposition today on International Women's Day. So 16 months after the funding was allocated and almost two years into this Albanese government term, two out of 500 promised community workers acting in the really important area of combating domestic violence. It's understood a lengthy agreement process between the federal government, states and territories has led to a recruitment delay, but those agreements have been reached now and the government hopes to have 352 workers appointed by June 30. As we know, domestic violence is a significant issue right across Australia. Last financial year alone, 24 people were allegedly murdered by their partner or a family member, which was a 50% increase from the year before Pete. Kayser Shields, thank you. And if this story raised any concerns for you folks, you can contact the Domestic Violence and Sexual Assault Helpline on 1800 Respect.